Could you survive a wake turbulence upsetting a jet? I failed, tripping the built-in safety protections in CalSpan's Learjet 25B. The pilots of this Challenger jet didn't do so well either when tangling with an A380 wake in January. I visited CalSpan and Niagara Falls to fly an upset recovery guidance system built to prevent loss of control. A nearby memorial marks one of the worst LOC accidents, Colgan 3407. Developed by Barron Associates with NASA funding, the upset guidance was front and center on the primary flight display in the right seat of the Learjet. When needed, the special symbology pops up. The pilot uses a yoke, rudder, and power levers to match the guidance on the screen. Myself and four other research subject pilots flew nine realistic scenarios that too often lead to LOC. We first tested the recovery guidance in the ground simulation mode in the Learjet. With the bearing guidance called Dagger, the pilot flies the blue pitch and roll markers at the center of the screen into the magenta colored recovery markers. A rudder command is below center and power guidance is on the left. Use the throttles to put the green marker into the red. We flew each scenario with and without guidance, but in no particular order and with no indication of what failure was to come. This clip shows one of the other pilots also failing in a wake recovery due to over-controlling. The left side screen stops when he trips the Learjet's G limits, as I had. With guidance, Barron found, Barron found that recoveries in general had less over-controlling and fewer oscillations, as you see here. For me, having the guidance made the very same wake recovery and the solution to many of the other scenarios, a piece of cake to fly.